I did notice that, that last week's um, video was really shoddy quality on the camera. So I've, I've tried to uh, I've cleaned the lenses and tried to um, make sure that I've got all the settings right. So hopefully it'll be better this week. Uh, Just busy carrying on uh, with this. I just got this this one to dimension now on the outside, but I just got a phone call um, from the fabrication company to say that my tubes were ready. So I quickly downed the tools and went and fetched them. So, ooh. so here they are. So if I put the camera there. So he's made a really nice job of, of rolling them. Um, now, the trouble with rolled tubes is that there's always a flat bit at the end. It's very difficult to get rid of that. And he's made the best of it. Best of it. And this is, the dimensions are spot on. So if I ease this in here, a little bit awkward. But there, I know this isn't gonna be quite right because this is out, outside of it, so. And then if I squeeze it in, you can see that it, it's almost there now. So I could probably just start welding here at the bottom and squeeze it round and, and get it and get it right. But I've had a better idea, which I think is going to help. Really hope the video quality is better this week. So I'm going to what I'm going to do. Is I'm just going to make a make a kind of a thing. I don't know what you call it. Plug, template. I don't know. A thing. I'm going to draw around here. Glue these two together. Um, draw around it. Cut it out with a jigsaw, and make a, a, a like a plug thing, so that then I can I can put the plug in and ratchet strap it around, and hopefully that will squeeze it into the right place, and I can start welding, tack along, and weld the well the, the other end on. That's the idea anyway. Don't know if it'll work. Well, I didn't have any Jigsaw, any wood jigsaw blades, so I've had to sort of hack it out the best I can with with the uh, circular saw. So use it. I scoot. I made a mark in the middle, put a bolt through, and I just kind of eyeballed it into the middle, more or less, and then bolted it to the back plate. So I'm now going to commit a major machining sin. This really isn't good, but I don't know what else to do. I'll have to do it. I'd like to cover everything up, but I can't even do that because it would be too dangerous if I put cloths on it and stuff. <coughs> um, right. I've no idea what tool to use, so I just plumbed for a sort of a round-nosed um, ordinary right and turn and tool. No idea what's going to happen. 33 RPM. Round. Uh, so now I'm going to 
that is apt to mention. And now, before I do anything, I'm going to hoover up all this mess, and I promise never to do this again. <laughs> got away with it. I've got a feeling it's the wide angle lens that isn't very that isn't very good so I'm interested to see if this bit in the video is a poorer quality than the rest. So I've done most of this one in uh, on the normal lens anyway. Uh, so take this out now off even Ooh. idea that which it is look at that it's pretty good so that can I can now use this the whole point of this exercise was that tomorrow when I start to put these on I can uh, push the, this inside here I can get a ratchet strap around around this now and clamp it totally right and then weld the end on and I've also bought the uh, the pipe piping system, so I bought a sort of a weld on, uh, what do you call it, a pipe nipple. Then I've got uh, an elbow, and then I can screw the valve into there. And if I need it to be longer, I've bought a, 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 a what do you call it, socket, I think it's called, and an extender. That's another pipe level. And then I could screw the valve in there and that, and that extends it out a bit. So this is how it should uh, theoretically look. That's um, the one that I just showed there on the video. I feel as if that looks a bit clunky, but the, the actual penetrator is in a convenient place. So then I made, that's the short version. Um, penetrator is too close to the ring there, so that one won't work. Um, that one is the same but with just the, with the pipe nipple with the, the elbow welded straight onto the tank without the pipe nipple which i think is a bit better and that one is the same it's just without that uh, pipe nipple just to make it a bit shorter um but i've just thought of something else which i'm just going to draw up right now so i thought why don't i just do it like this i just weld the pipe nipple straight onto the end cap right at the very top It'd be an awful lot easier um, and if I did um, you know, if I put it as near to the very top as is humanly possible like that I can even trim off that bit then that's uh, certainly going to be a lot easier this is going to be much easier to weld it's three mil so it's not welding onto thin stuff um, and it means that it, it falls into a nice convenient place. I think that's a lot easier. So I'm, uh, I'm just going along, uh, tacking it in place and I've got the the wooden thing in and I'm clamping it on what I'm doing is uh, I clamp it around and then I'm just tapping it all the way along the joint just to just to smooth it over and it, it does seem to be working I seem to be getting it pretty nicely round so I'm just going to carry on going around like this all right, well, I've, um, I've welded along the top and that should fit quite nicely um, on like that there's just a bit here at the top where it's going to need a bit of uh, it's going to need a bit of persuasion. I did try and tap it, and but it was really difficult actually with the joint. So I'm going to weld it at the bottom and at the two sides there, and then I'm going to try and strap it or persuade it into place. But for now, first thing to do is I'm going to clean up the weld and this stuff with this acid stuff, and this stuff really is the devil's work. So I'm going to. So full on, this is awful stuff. 
Now the biggest problem with this is the uh, the sugary inner bead. This is because I didn't back purge it now. I did think about back purging it, but the reason I didn't do it is because it's so expensive on the gas. The last time I did a job where I did back purge, I used a whole tank and it's 80 quid a tank. And for this, I just thought, well, I'll leave it and I'll uh, put up with it. Now I've, I've put acid on the inside. Hopefully that will clean it up a bit. And then I might even get some paint in on it just to give it a covering. Well, I've been at this all day, so I'm going to actually go a bit kind of boss eyed welding for so long. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pack in and carry on doing that for you, Right, I'm not overly happy with this. It's just not gone quite right. Um, the reason is, now, I measured this and it's absolutely spot on correct. It should be, uh, it should be, what should it be? 968, which it absolutely is. I know this isn't very accurate. Anyway, I've still got that bit there. Now, if I take, took that out of the ratchet strap, it, it's got to come from somewhere. And so it, it, it goes out of wad somewhere else. And, there's not a lot of leeway with this. I mean, it fits perfectly all the way around, apart from that little bit there at the top. So it's almost like, see, if I squeeze it in, it comes out there. I almost feel as if I need to take two millimeters out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a thickish cutting blade. I'm going to cut all the way down and squeeze it into position. I've got to get rid of that bit there somehow, so it's been a bit of a failure today, really. I don't really know what else to do. I, mean, just, you know, I could cut a bit out and squeeze it in and then leave the rest, but I mean, this thing doesn't lie, my wooden block, and I can see that gap is all the way down. So. My idea was I was going to weld the end cap on at the bottom and at the two sides and then just force the top bit in, but you know, it's not going now because there's nowhere for it to go. So I've got to get rid of that bit. So the only way something's got to give, I'm going to have to cut a thinner hole. More of a hole. Oh well, uh, I'll have to just do it again next week. Uh, I have ordered the, the bracket things as well, the, the brackets that will hold them on. Um, those have been laser cut in the UK, so they should be here hopefully by next weekend.